Forza Ferrari! Yeah, Molina, Nicola Rossi and the video is on with at Silverstone. Davide Rigon, Miguel Ariosci, a big well body now. Well, uh, the season so far went really well. We started in a good way in Monza and Silverstone, especially we won in Silverstone for the first time with the Ferrari. So that was really positive and especially in the 24 hours of Spa, uh, we scored a lot of points. Uh, in the 6 hour and the 12 hour and this gives us the, the opportunity to, to, to take a good advantage in the, in the championship but we know that the competition is really really high and it will be a hard race to win Sunday. It means a special place, uh, it's my home racetrack, I, it all started here 15 years ago. I won my first race in World Series by Renault, I won my first race in Formula 3 so it will be really, really important to clinch the, the championship here. A uh, really special one probably and we will fight with the maximum power to clinch this and this will be the aim for the weekend. I think it's a combine of uh, pressure and motivation here. To race in front of the people is always a big motivation but at the same time to, to have the pressure of trying to win a championship is, is always there. So hopefully the mix of these two, two feelings, let's say, uh, it helps to have a good race and to have the good goal at the end. So, uh, but I think it's more motivation than pressure. Well, yeah, starting now. So really looking forward for the weekend. 15 years ago, First, first time that I, I jumped in a race car it was here, so uh, really, really looking forward for this weekend and fighting for the championship uh, is the best place to, to be actually. How is Miguel with stress? No, no, it's okay, it's okay. It's <laughs> a home race, but uh, we are all uh, pretty okay today. We know that we need to be Benvenuto a Barcelona, good morning everybody, welcome to the circuit de Catalunya for the final day of action of the Blancpain GT Series Endurance Cup for 2019. Miguel Molina in the green on sector one and sector two, really good looking lap from the 72 Ferrari. Don't forget, they're looking to win the Endurance Cup outright. I think that I should warn you. There's something about to change. Well, uh, still the race to go, so uh, we are confident. Uh, we always know that uh, our race pace is, is always good. Let's hope that here is also like this. So starting uh, out of the top 10, but this doesn't mean anything. So uh, we are looking forward for the race and for sure we will enjoy it. in Spain, the venue for the final round of the Blancpain GT Series Endurance Cup. Titles up for grabs and a whole field of 45 cars ready to battle around the home of the Spanish Grand Prix. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident. I think uh, we have a good chance, so let's put it all together and try to, to finish the race in a good way. It's good uh, to, to have this crowd here and uh, especially at the home race track, it's, it's always special. And the field, as John said, covered by a second, the top 24 cars on the grid. You think this isn't competitive? There are few more competitive racing championships on the planet. Ben Muller in the 98, Porsche leads the field, leads the charge down to the first corner, 563 Lamborghini trying to go between it and the Black Falcon Mercedes. Albert Costa being sensible, being calm, being collected, but the Black Falcon Mercedes runs across the runoff area and comes around the outside now. The Porsche Top of the 54 tough. car, our Mons a winner in the wall, upside down. 72 Ferrari with problems, it's being passed left, right and centre. So it's got to be a full 72 killer. looks like it might have a puncture. I think it's a right it's, rear. Yes it is, right rear tyre is flat on the 72 Ferrari. Well, that's a big, big setback indeed. Safety car remains.
Hines out. 72 car has left the pit lane. Uh, Misha reported that he, he got a hit by, by another car. We saw in the replay that it uh, was in turn four, so yeah, it will be a uh, tough work, but uh, for sure we will fight until the end. The 72 car needs a top eight finish no matter what else happens. And right now, they're down in 44th place. As of now, they'll lose the title by one point. They have now got two hours, 50 minutes to make up 40 odd places. Well, never give up. No, no, I mean, absolutely. The, this, the, the, the spirit of everybody within all these teams is never give up. So we're seeing teams are actually beginning to think about making a pit stop, maybe <laughs> yes. trying to get a little bit out of sync with some of those around us. Porsche oh. runs wide at the exit. is the 72 car. Now, not all the cars in front of it behind the safety car on the lead lap, but there are 22 cars in front of it in the points. It's yeah. only 15 seconds away from a point. Yes. 72 is only in the endurance battle. So this title race that it concerns them, they're 23rd, they must be eighth or higher, and they've got just under 90 minutes. He's just gone by the Aston Martin of Jake Dennis. Five places from the title. They're trying to keep up with all this, and there's just so much going on. The Ferrari ought to be the quicker of the two, but again, the usual story. You catch up, but can you find a the way back? The car of oh, the right, right, oh. Bentley's been tagged, was a tag. And the that? Ferrari gets caught up in yes. it, and, and damage. Yeah. Damage on the right front corner. So that is the tag that occurred. The Bentley and the Ferrari have come into contact. Through the penalty to car 72. There we go. Yeah. Causing a collision. The situation is that the race starts quite bad uh, with a contact on the beginning uh, with Misha and uh, you know the driver Monty said uh, that uh, he missed the breaking point. Ah, okay, we lose a chance. Miguel actually was doing a really good job, not complete, we tried to risk a little bit but uh, there was no space there. Play this the race, next year we will be stronger.